had good success fly fishing for crappie with natural colored patterns, but that hasn't been the case on the Withmacoochee River. Now I have had pretty good success using brightly colored jigs and spinning equipment, which makes sense considering the darkly stained water. That also got me thinking that I needed to break out the bright colors and go to the fly tying bench. Okay, I've started the thread and I've advanced it to the rear of the hook. We're going to go ahead and uh, tie in the lead. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for now. I've got my bunny tail. We're going to tie it in next. To let it extend back about the same length or maybe a little shorter than the, the hook. Let's go ahead and clip off the extra here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and, and tie in the crystal flash as well. Okay, I'm going to bring my wire forward and we're going to wrap to the front. Get me a wrap here. Then just break it off. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, fingernail polish here to help lock everything in. And we're going to go ahead and palmer the ice chenille to the front. I'm going to hold this forward and get a couple wraps. That. Go ahead and trim it close. Several more wraps and I'm going to put some half hitches on here. You can use your whip finish tool at this time. One more time. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of super glue too to help lock it in right here on the threads. Try and keep it out of the hook eye. All right. There it is. Got a crappy with his name on it, with my name on it. <laughs>